we're back at it again. Another new season, uh, another new new year, Chinese New Year, year of the ox or cow or whatever it is, donkey, some kind of ungulated animal. And we're in Gaosheng. Ollie had what we call a mental hiccup when purchasing the tickets to get here. And instead of getting the high speed rail, we got the slow train, which normally isn't that bad, but it's a difference of three hours. So we were on the train for quite a while, but it was all right. I mean, the train itself was a piece of shit, let's be honest, but it was still comfortable in a weird way, even though the plastic was smoke stained and the curtains smelled like ass. Um, it was nice, it was a nice train ride. Okay, let's go to the hotel. <laughs> Obviously with COVID and everything, you can't really, we can't really do anything too exciting. Um, so we've come to Kaohsiung to start, which for anyone that lives in Taiwan, I mean, let's be honest, it's not all that exciting. <laughs> for us, it's kind of cool. We've never really spent much time here. First thing I notice, uh, one, there's more space, more empty space. Two, the pollution is insane here. Is that just a thing? Maybe it's just today. Is it just today? When they built this city, they built it right though. The architecture and like the parks and the bike stations and the metro stations and everything. The roads are nice and wide, the sidewalks are wide and they're not made out of glass like they are in Taipei. <laughs> but like look at these buildings, like this one behind me here. There's one that's glowing, let's see. Can't really see it, but it's glowing back there. And there's just like these beautiful buildings kind of sprinkled all over the place. Mm. It's really cool. Yeah. So anyway, we're off to the night market. The Rufang, Rufang, Rufang. Ruf, no, I forgot. <laughs> Whatever, we're up to, we're, we're going up to a night market. As we walked through the city, the relatively wide and empty streets slowly became more narrow and busy with foot traffic. With each passing city block, the advertisements on the walls and signs around us became more about food and treats rather than new phones and TV shows. The smell of cement dust and pollution became frequently paired with wafts of charcoal barbecues and sizzling walks. The sound of engines and traffic was replaced by the sounds of talking and laughter, altogether indicating a night market was in close proximity. Um, caramelized onion. Yeah. Really, a lot of black pepper. Yeah. But the pork is seasoned so well and so tender. Like, I barely have to chew. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> favorite favorite night market in Taiwan so far. I, I think. It is really good. It's so like pretty. <laughs> and the variety. It's just as clean as you're ever going to get a night market. It's so bright and clean and colorful. So good. Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do you want some? Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want some of that one? It's like curry. Yeah. yeah. You want some of that? <laughs> These are classic. After some quick bites, we hit up the games area, where children of all ages were learning the correct temperament for their dotted future of casino binges. I stuck to the one game I knew my fragile ego would be safe playing, and impressed a crowd of suspicious kids, giving them further hope at becoming successful in winning the elusive prize of a cheaply made Totoro plush toy. Thank you! Every time I've done that, they've scammed me in one way or another. They've always like left out a bullet 
or they throttle the airflow so that the bullets like drop or go straight or whatever. But this time I actually did it and he seemed like a little bit shocked. <laughs> so, so ha, I win this time. So it's a long walk back to the hotel and we decided to see if these oh. strange... I don't have my card! Oh. <laughs> I left it in my wallet! I'm so sorry! That's okay. So that's it. Day one in Kaohsiung. The night market was amazing. That's my favorite night market in Taiwan now. And the city is really, it is beautiful. It's just such a shame that there's this much pollution here. That sucks. We're having fun. It's good. Now we're at this um, park thing. I don't know what you call it. Lovers. Love. What is river? it? Love River. Love, Love River Lovers Walks. River. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool. There's lots of lights and stuff. There's no bugs. They've all been. Uh, they've all turned radioactive and flown <laughs> away. Anyway, that's it for tonight, folks. We're gonna enjoy some 18-day Taiwan beer and uh, go chill in the hotel. Go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Bye. One N. One N. <laughs> Don't be stingy with the like button, and don't be shy about subscribing. In the next episode, we'll be feeding ourselves to dragons and hunting for a treasure. See you there, folks. <laughs>